go back to eight. Okay, Conkrell watching Sarah Kemp. Yeah, a little left to right breaking putt for two birdies in a row. Okay. Oh, yes. Her putting stats have dramatically improved this year. A lot of hard work in the offseason. Sarah talked about the last time she was in a final group. Uh, she was so nervous, and I'm sure there are plenty of other players on that leaderboard. The, today is so important for them and tomorrow mm. for their status for the rest of the year. Career changing for quite a few players on this leaderboard. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle the pressure the next two days. Okay, this is a seven iron. 156 yards to the hole. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Would have been really good for the whole location yesterday. These are the ones that are just cause a lot of stress and take a lot of energy. Because it requires so much concentration to just finish it out. You should make those putts, but Morgan, sometimes you miss them. This hole is going to feel a lot easier today. They're not playing into a hurting wind. And that was a beautifully struck drive. Yeah, there's not much wind out there at all, Kay, right now, is there? No, just a slight movement of the leaves. She qualified up in Northern Virginia. That a seven iron. What'd you tell her, Kay? You tell her it's tough? I told her it's tough. I said, bring your A game. It'll test you from tee to green. Comes from Sydney, Australia. And she was saying yesterday, you know, these firm and fast conditions are what you might find down in the summertime in Australia. Definitely is familiar to her, and she says the way this course is playing really suits her game. Back over to 12. And trying to rebound Sarah Kemp. Her ball got all the way down almost to a level lie. That's a good start in the bounce back. Uh, you love that, don't you? Yeah, well done. Very that'll just after a double. Bogies are bogies are manageable, but doubles definitely get under your skin a bit. Oh look at that fist pump. Yep. Yeah. The pause over the first two rounds, they moved the tee back for the second round. They played this tee box on Thursday. Yeah, we haven't really seen anybody be too aggressive on this hole yet today. Yeah, good, good for uh, length. To get a spot in the U.S. Women's Open. 13. This was just a moment ago. Sarah Kemp for birdie. She's going back to back after the double. Oh, she had the line, and that is one of the things she's been telling herself. Get the putts past the hole. She's written it in the yardage book this week as one of those mental reminders. So that will really bug her. Especially when they're right in the heart. Yeah. Oh. yeah. A little bit uphill first and then downhill. Very similar putt to what we saw Wailing she have a minute ago. And of course it went in. That was a little aggressive. I think she's happy that one hit the hole. He knocked it into the penalty area and had to take a drop. This is a fourth shot. And whoa! Almost dropped, didn't it? So that should be a par for Kemp. Good scramble if she can knock that in. Be really good par from Sarah Kemp. Yeah, good up and down. You might think she was unlucky and the ball didn't drop, but still to make five after that mistake with the second shot. Aim right at it. I feel like the greens are maybe slightly more receptive today than we've mm. seen them the first couple of days. A good swing. Yeah, she's swinging really well. Just some solid, solid shots. There's got to be a feeling when you're 35 years of age, you've been out here for so long. This be a fifth birdie of the day. And that one, she has moved. Just so flat back on that back left side of the screen. It's tough to read. Mori is the only one that we've seen really make a putt on that hole. Mm -hmm. That had a good sound, but it you know landed lands on the down slope. Not bad. It's such a big lip. It's hard to get it high enough. 
Yeah, I think we've seen a lot of really good play from Sarah as of late, and it showed today, showed a little bit more confidence in her game. She'll be right in position tomorrow to give it a run. And that's the thing, the, the best players get so many top tens, they're always in the mix, always in the mix, so that becomes their norm. And the players that rarely do.